Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julie, and I'm here to do a breakdown video for the super tease of uh, MTB's Scream. Um, there's a lot of things going on in this teaser, and honestly, it needs to have their own breakdown. Um, because, th like I said before, the season feels like a completely different animal than it was on season one, so let's see what we have on the um, trailer and yeah let's go ahead and jump right to that uh, the trailer opens up with this everyone who comes around you dies and your friends should be scared too because they're all gonna die so while she's saying that we have flashes of Emma, Kieran, Noah and Brooke and the girl who I do not remember the name but uh, she says that she should have all her friends should be afraid of being around her because everyone is going to die I don't know if this is just her being mad about what happened with Audrey or is it something more? I'm guessing there is something more there because for from the episode we know that this girl and the guy that was dressed as the killer they all meet on Noah's um, comment section of his podcast and there's where uh, three people actually organize that prank uh, so yeah I'm, I'm guessing that she's not a fan of Emma or the Lakewood Six so I'm very very interested in knowing what it's going to happen next there is a new killer out there and all of that is happening again after that is seen we get uh, another phrase this time by Emma that says there's a new killer out there and all of that is happening again while that is being said we get flashes from when Noah gets killed and also Emma talking to I think this is one of the new guys the one on the left what I get from this the is that no one actually believes Emma we know from what we saw on episode two that Emma had a breakdown that she had to leave town she was away for, for for three months and it's very likely that people are, are going to believe that she is not in her right mind like she's kind of going insane and the killer or possible killers are actually going to take advantage of that next we have completely crazy hallucinations are common with PTSD I was almost then we have uh, just the boys of uh, Emma say am I completely crazy and the teacher that was introduced last week the psychologist uh, that was introduced last week says that hallucinations are common with PTSD so this is just proof that no one is actually believing what uh, Emma uh, is maybe seen they believe there are hallucinations and this in this part of the uh, trailer we see Emma getting inside a motel room and inside that uh, motel room uh, someone has a news report about the killings about Emma about Will about everything that happened around three or four months ago now something that is very interesting in this part of the trailer is the fact that when Emma turns around and right before she drops those two cups of coffee she sees something and if you look at this uh, photo right now you see that there's an image that it looks a lot like Piper so she's either having a real hallucination because honestly it will be insane if Piper is actually alive because we saw her getting shot in the head unless that it wasn't a real gun I'm not sure how she was going to survive that but you can clearly see on one side of the screen something that Em is looking at is that person and that person might be a hallucination or someone who looks a lot like Piper and that triggers uh, something on Emma 
and that's why she drops the cap the cups of coffee that she has i was almost stabbed okay that happened now emma says in that part of the trailer that she was almost stabbed so again emma is dealing with a lot of ptsd people not believing what she is saying and this might be the part where people might actually think she's not crazy with something as terrible as this people would rather believe anything else is happening what exactly do you think is happening Piper's accomplice is finishing the job. This is a conversation between Noah and the new police uh, guy that I do not remember the name, sorry. Names will be on the description below, like I always do uh, when I don't remember names. Um, Noah says, if something is as terrible as this, people will rather believe anything else is happening. And the guy asks, what exactly do you believe is happening? And Noah answers, Piper Accomplish is finishing the job. So, Noah might be right. And here's the thing with Noah. Noah always looks suspicious as fuck. You can't tell me he doesn't look suspicious since episode one of season one. So, I don't know if Noah is just because maybe let's play devil, uh, devil's advocate here. And let's believe that Noah is actually just for the sake of his podcast he's trying to find out if Audrey was really involved with Piper and that's why he's calling and harassing her just to get the truth out there okay we have to remember Noah even though he seems very functional and and he seems like he's not being affected by what happened he still has to be dealing with PTSD so what I believe is that maybe something has triggered inside him, maybe he is trying to look for answers, but maybe he's doing things that normally, under normal circumstances, he wouldn't do. So, I, I'm not sure, but that could happen, you know. Now, part of this little trailer, we get an image of Brooke looking really scared. And when we look at what she is looking at, we see that is a glass with some sort of liquid th uh, that is on fire. Uh, maybe someone someone tried to poison her or something like that. I, I, I don't really understand this part. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what is going on with her. Then we get a shot of this guy who I'm not sure if he's a new guy. Or who the hell he is but he has been uh, followed by the new killer maybe this guy right here is, is the third person uh, who was supposed to do the prank on Audrey because that place where he's standing looks a lot like a motel room if you ask me and maybe he was collecting uh, info on the girls, on Audrey, on Emma, on the leg boost 6 actually and that's why the killer had to basically broke his head I don't know what the hell is it that he does to him I feel sorry but yeah um, and maybe the killer will take his place, his place inside of this uh, motel room who knows now we get a shot that says everyone has secrets I'm guessing that they are talking about uh, what is happening uh, with the secrets Audrey is holding. Maybe Emma has some secrets on herself too. The image of everyone has secrets flashes to everyone has darkness. And I'm guessing they are refer referring to the fact that um, they all are really messed up for what happened last summer. All you people who think you know everything about the Lakewood Six. You don't know us. Not really. We hear Brooke talking to the new guy that was talking to them. I honestly, I do not remember names. I wish I did. It will be a lot easier. Um, but she says that um, all you people who think you know everything about the Lakewood Six, you don't know us. Not really. All of this is being said while we have this image of Audrey holding something with blood 
uh, on her hands and she drops it. Then we get a flash of Kieran kissing Emma. They look really happy. I'm not sure that's gonna last. Then we get this part. This is a very interesting part of the trailer because we have Noah and if you can't see in the background, I think that's uh, Audrey and they look like they are in big trouble and like I said Noah looks perfectly fine with everything that happened but he has and he has to be going through PTSD himself and he looks really really upset in this clip get another shot of Audrey uh, doing a little boxing another look at one of the new guys then we get the letter saying no one is innocent and it flashes and changes to no one is safe. I feel like with this uh, changing of, of, of the meanings of the words and changing and, and the flashes that we get are because um, they are trying to play with the psychological part of horror that you won't feel like you know anyone. You won't know their real intentions. You won't know if our heroes are actually our heroes or they are actually go to the dark side. We will know and I love the fact that they're playing with that. I for once want more blood like we had on season one that we didn't really have to think too much uh, on what was going on. It was very clear uh, why the killer was killing but now they're playing more on the psychological part of this horror type of shows which I like and I, I'm really like the tone of the series has completely changed and we'll see if if, if um, the season can be as great as it was on season one. We've all got bullseyes on our backs unless somebody tries to stop them. That's the job for the final girl. Or the hero. Now we have a conversation between Noah and Zoe uh, that I find very interesting because they are trying to put uh, they, they, one thing that Noah does is that he rather uh, make up a story for what is happening and go with that than actually dealing with the things that are happening. Now, Zoe is playing the same game with him and they say that is the girl's, the final girl's job to discover who is the killer or the hero. So, it's very interesting that Noah is getting like bombarded for what he knew and what he experienced from a lot of people. So he once the other guy who I don't remember his name also was playing him. I believe that everyone like the Lakewood Six are being played right now by whoever is trying to uh, kill them again. We have again in this part of the promo the changing letters. It says, let the games begin, very Hunger Games. And then the letters change and says, let the murder begin. Right after that, we got an image of the killer who is actually inside the school. Emma is banging on the door. I guess he's trying to get out. Now, this one right here, he looks like Kieran. This one, I'm not sure, I'm not gonna say like it is Kieran, but he looks a lot like him. And it's clear that the killer is stabbing him. He does a sweep move and, and it looks like he's stabbing him. So, I believe that's Kieran. I not, I'm not sure though, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if he is. And if he is, it looks like the killer is actually going to... Uh, be finishing his job and actually killing the Lake Blue Six. He actually saw Piper's accomplice. It's Noah talking to Audrey saying that someone, and he says they actually saw Piper's accomplice. So I don't believe that uh, Audrey is actually like actively helping the killer now. But it might be the look on, on on Audrey's face in this part of the trailer is really terrifying because she's looking at that new guy who is doing like a, a, a move with his hands, like shooting uh, Audrey. Maybe he's just a bully. I don't know. I don't like the guy. Then we have this part that's, that a lot of people, when I review the uh, 
the trailer for season two, a lot of you said that this was Brooke and Kira, but that's for me that's still Emma. I don't know about you guys, but uh, it looks a lot more like Emma than Brooke. Why are you following me? Maybe you weren't ready to come back yet. In times like this, you have to be careful with who you trust. In this part of the trailer, Emma looks like she's really scared. Someone is following her on a car and is actually trying to run her over. I still believe that this is the killer just trying to uh, confuse Emma because if the killer wanted to actually kill her, she will be dead by now. I don't think that the killer wants to uh, kill her, at least not at first. Uh, he wants to destroy everything that she has first and for her to see all of that happen before he can actually kill her. Now this is a very interesting part on the trailer. We get a shot of Emma and Kieran and by the looks of this one, I don't know if Emma has decided to wear black all the time, but it looks like they are on a funeral. I don't, I'm not sure about this part, uh, but it looks like that they are really sad. Maybe this is a part where they find uh, Jake's body. A lot, of, a lot of people have said that maybe he's not dead, that maybe he faked his own death because he did, you know, he was being a recorder, so maybe all that was an act. I'm not sure. I would like to believe that too, um, because I honestly love Jake. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what can happen, you know. But this show right here, it does look like Emma and Kira are on maybe uh, a funeral or after a funeral, something like that. We get a shot also of this new guy that I believe he is Kieran's uh, cousin that has come to town, and. I didn't knew he was gonna have a thing with Emma. The last part is that same guy talking to both Kieran and Emma, saying that she can trust anyone. Very interesting coming from someone who we don't actually know. I'm officially putting the school into lockdown. I don't give it to you, so don't give it to me. I don't give it to you, so don't give it to me. I don't give it to you. Whoever did this, and it may be a game to them, but to us, it's life or death. The next part, like you just saw, is the guy saying, the police, the new police officer saying that they are putting the, the school on lockdown. I'm guessing that this is after the killer tries to attack uh, Emma, and they are finally believing what she's saying. There's a shot of Brooke getting into the pool and screaming. Uh, I'm guessing that this part is something that has really affected her. Maybe this is where she finds out about Jake. I'm not sure if this one is Kieran holding uh, Emma or if this... I don't know if, if, if Kieran actually has that tattoo on his arm. So let me know, please, in the comment below if that could be Kieran or that could be someone else. And that girl, the blonde one, it actually could also be... Emma's mother. Uh, I keep calling her Daisy because I don't remember her actual name, but yeah, it could be her also. Then we get a really nice shot of Audrey looking really scared and shocked, and the next thing we see is actually why she's so shocked is Rachel, her ex-girlfriend uh, that died. She actually didn't commit suicide, everybody rule it as a suicide, but she was actually killed by the killer. Now, we don't know if in season one there were two killers, it was revealed to be just one, but the killer in season two can easily be uh, held responsible for some of the killings on season one, maybe. We don't know how many people Piper actually did kill, so... We'll see. Now we get this really interesting uh, shot. Soy kissing Noah, then Soy kissing Audrey, and then Soy making Audrey and Noah kiss. I do. I don't know what the hell is this. They are drunk. I bet they are drunk. The next part is Aud Audrey talking to. I am. I think that's Brooke, maybe saying that. Uh, 
for some people this might be a game but for them this is either life or dead which is true you can really uh, expect that these kids take a, a, a prank like the one that Audrey was a uh, victim at the first episode they are not gonna take things lightly they are suffering all of them are suffering from PTSD so I'm guessing that people still believe that what happened to them is not that big but it is big for them then we have this shot of Emma looking like she's really worried she's it, it looks like they're on a park or something like that and guess who's there the killer and between all those image and all, all that those things that are happening on this part of the trailer we get flashes of letters saying everyone is gonna scream i'm not gonna play your games anymore emma screaming i'm not gonna play your games anymore so I'm guessing that, the, like I said before, the killer is just messing with her. Okay, in that first image we get Noah looking at his computer like he has finally found something. And if you see in the background, you see a blue jacket and someone holding something. And in the next, next shot, we get that it's Audrey behind Noah with something in her hand about to hit Noah. So Noah maybe has found a connection between Audrey and Piper and Audrey is about to I honestly don't know if she's she's been blackmailing in to do this or she's just protecting herself who knows but this one looks really scary now this is a very interesting part of the trailer this one right here is Emma with the new guy I think that's Eli and you can see that on one side there's the killer's mask but someone is wearing that killer's mask and Eli has the costume, the black costume so is he part of the pranksters that were trying to like uh, hurt the guys because I do believe there are two teams in this, in this uh, new season and who is that on the other side? it looks like they are putting the mask on someone else and that someone else is actually dead because it looks like he has blood on on his chest I honestly I hope that that's not Kieran I don't know so why will Emma be kissing the killer that's really messed up we get a shot of Emma doing uh, who know what the hell is she doing right now we have a shot of the killer again threatening um, Emma Emma trying to get out of whatever place she's been held. I think that's maybe like the principal's office or something like that. I believe she's in his, in school. I'm in your head, Emma. You can't trust anyone, not even yourself. We see that Emma is finally able to get out of the. I think that's part of the school. Maybe the principal's office, like I said before. Then Emma hitting this new girl bitch slapping her which honestly good for you Emma then the same girl is tackling Emma because apparently she didn't like being bitch slap which is totally understandable as well we get some fights we get this little flash of I believe this is Brooke holding some maybe knife or a scissor then we get this new police guy who I'm, I bet he's gonna die and he's showing a gun to Kieran and we know that Kieran does have a gun for whatever reason he did have a gun last season then we see Audrey dressed in black which is not good finding Jake's body I think that this is very much the confirmation that Jake is actually dead who knows but it does look like that and like we have so seen before, the um, killer puts something on his chest and, see, and it says, see how I finished the job for you, Audrey? And after that, we do see Emma getting out of the office and the killer is not there, which is maybe one of the reasons everybody's gonna think that Emma is going insane. The killer has gotten in your head. You cannot trust anything or anyone. 
Play time's over, bitch. In this part of the trailer, we get another kiss between Noah and Zoe, who I honestly, I, I'm not like trusting this girl. Like honestly, I don't trust the new ones. We get a conversation between Noah and Emma. Emma says the killer has gotten into your head. And like I said, Noah seems like he believes at least that he's perfectly fine with what happened, but he's not. And I believe that's what Emma is actually feeling and that's why she's telling him that. Now we see someone holding, I think that's a hand, like a, a girl's hand, but I'm, I'm not sure if it's Audrey because the next frame we get is Audrey looking really suspicious but if you see she's wearing something blue like a blue t-shirt and on the previous um, uh, frame so the person who's holding that mask it's actually wearing a gray t-shirt so it's not Audrey it could be Emma though then we hear Emma saying you can't trust anything or anyone or something like that and we get a flash of Emma screaming we can see a shadow who can be the killer then we get a flash I believe these two are Emma and her mother Daisy yep that's definitely Daisy and Emma maybe they are back on Troy's uh, house Troy's Troy James house and then we get the flash of trust us trust nothing the final part is uh, Brooke holding some scissors and she has someone uh, tied up to her bed I guess who it is I don't know it could be Mr. Branson though I don't, I'm not sure he's gonna be back and she says playtime's over bitch or something like that and then we get a flash of the killer I believe that he's inside uh the high school because we see some lockers i believe in the background and he's killing someone who that someone is we don't we don't actually see we just see a hand it looks like kieran but if kieran was dead already i don't know but he's attacking someone so guys that's the end of the trailer i honestly this isn't does feel like a, like a completely different monster I don't know what is happening half of the time on this promo, but I hope that this uh, helps a little bit to you guys to, I don't know, form theories. I believe there are two teams. One is the one who's actually uh, blackmailing Audrey and another one's just looking for revenge on Piper, on, on Brandon James and everything. So I think one are the amateurs, like that girl who is uh, who did the prank on Audrey and the other team uh, could actually be someone even on our group maybe Noah Noah always looks suspicious and I will love if it's Noah but I will love it even more if if it's Noah and he can get away with it that will be amazing so let me know all your theories your thoughts on this trailer I hope that you guys enjoyed this I'm sorry if it's a really long video I have I'm gonna try to make it as short as I can so yeah give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to keep doing videos like this let me know in the comment section below subscribe like share comment everything and I'll see you guys next week for my reaction for season 2 episode 2 of Scream see you later guys bye